Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about true discount. It is a very interesting topic. So to understand this, let us consider a scenario. You go to a mobile shop and you decide to purchase this mobile phone. And you find out that this mobile phone has basically two schemes, scheme A and scheme B. Scheme A says that if you pay immediately rupees 1000, you can take this mobile. It's all yours. And the scheme B says that you can buy this mobile phone on credit, that is on loan. And you'll have to pay 1300 rupees in 3 years at the rate of 10% per annum. Right? So 1300 is the amount in scheme B. So you take out your wallet and check that if you have 1000 rupees. And you find that you have 1000 rupees. So you get this mobile phone using scheme A. You pay 1000 rupees right now and you take the phone, it's all yours. So how much did you save? If you had gone with scheme B, it would have cost you 1300. But you went with scheme A, so you paid just 1000 rupees. So how much did you save? Well, you saved 1300 minus 1000, that is 300 rupees. Well, this 300 is actually known as true discount. So true discount is basically the amount saved by paying the present worth of the goods, right? This present worth instead of buying it on loan. Now, if you observe carefully, you'll find that true discount is basically the simple interest on this present worth for this much amount of years and the rate of interest given in the scheme B. Well, let me write it. True discount is equals to the principal worth times the number of years in scheme B times the rate upon 100. It's basically the simple interest obtained on the present worth for given time and rate, right? So if you put the principal worth, you'll, you'll get it as 1000 into the number of years had you bought it in scheme B would have been 3 years. So times 3 times the rate would be 10 upon 100, right? And that will give you 300. So true discount is the simple interest calculated on the principal worth of the goods or the present worth of the goods. Okay, let us solve a problem now. Find the present worth of rupees 900 due in 4 years at 5% per annum. Also find the discount. So you have to find out the true discount. And you know that true discount is nothing but the interest on the principal. And that's P and R upon 100, right? The principal worth times the number of years and the rate of interest. Now, you don't have the principal worth or the present worth. You have to find that too, right? So, you have been given the amount, the number of years and the rate of interest. And you know that amount is basically the principal worth plus the interest, isn't it? So we have 900 is equals to P plus, let's put the value of I here. So P N R upon 100, right? So 900 is equals to P plus P times N is 4 times R is 5 upon 100, right? So 5 times 20 is 100 and 4 times 5 is 20. So we have 900 is equals to 5p plus p, that's 6p divided by 5, right? And if you solve it, you'll get the value of p as 750, right? So you have found out the present worth of 900 rupees. Now you need the discount. So put the value of p here, p is 750 times n is 4 times 5 is the rate of interest upon 100. Right, 4 times 25 is 100, 5 times 5 is 25. So 750 divided by 5 and that's 150. So 150 rupees is the discount and 750 rupees is the principal or the present worth. Let us look at a couple of important formulas mostly related to each other. So you know that true discount is basically the simple interest calculated on the present worth or the principal worth. So that is P and R upon 100, right? Just jumbling up this formula number 1, you get formula number 2. So the present worth is equal to 100 times the true discount upon N times R, right? 
and you know that the amount is equals to the principal plus the interest. So in the same way, the future amount will be equals to the present worth of the good plus the true discount. That's the interest, right? Now, if you put formula number two into formula number three, that means putting the value of present worth in this present worth, you can get this formula number four, the true discount in terms of amount, right? Just jumbling up the terms here and there. So true discount is basically amount times n times r upon 100 plus n times r. And if the problem says that the amount is put at compound interest, that means the true discount is basically the compound interest on the principal amount, not a simple interest, then we will use the formula of compound interest. And you know that. That is amount is equal to principal into 1 plus r upon 100 raised to n. Right? So these are the formulas. Keep these in mind. These are very important.